Hey guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to discuss what is Stack. What are the different operations that can be performed on Stack? We are going to see how to implement the Stack by using Java code. Uh, this is one of the important topic from data structures and algorithms point of view, and it has been asked in many companies. So you can prepare for it. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. That will motivate us to create more videos like this. So let's start with the discussion. Can you tell me what is meant by Stack? data structure in java yeah stack uh, is a data structure where there are various uh, operations uh, like push uh, pop and uh, peak so push is where, where you can insert element in, into the stack pop removes the element from the stack and peak returns you the top element without removing the actual element so these are the three operations that we can perform on, on the stack Okay, so can you try to write your uh, code to perform this operation? We'll go uh, one by one. We'll start with uh, first push operation and display the elements from the stack. Okay, so to implement the stack, I'm going to uh, use uh, arrays. Is it okay if I use arrays as the underlying data structure for stack? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so let me start uh, by writing uh, the code for stack. So we are going to add a class known as class uh, stack. And here we are going to define a private integer array. So integer array will hold your all the elements of the stack. And after that, we are also going to have uh, one, one variable for top. So top represents the top element, location of the top element of the stack. And then we have the capacity. Capacity is the number of elements that your stack can hold. So let's try to add capacity. <laughs> so array holds your actual elements. Top is your location of your top element. And capacity is the actual number of elements that stack can hold. Now I am uh, going to add a constructor. So constructor should be same as your class name. And uh, we are going to pass a parameter to this constructor known as size. The size will define uh, your capacity. So let's try to um, make an array of that size. So ARR equal to new uh, integer array of size. So I am uh, initializing the array or uh, instantiating the array with the uh, size. So the size of the array uh, will be uh, the size which is passed from outside. After that, I am going to make capacity equal to size. So that means the capacity of stack will be uh, the actual <laughs> size that is passed from outside and top equal to minus one. So this represents uh, that stack is empty when we create it. So array um, starts with zero. That is the reason we are keeping top as minus one because we know when it is minus one, your stack is actually empty. So let's try to uh, write our first operation, which is inserting an element that is known as push in, in stack world. So I'm going to uh, write public void and I'm going to name the method as push. Push is where we are trying to push the element into the stack. So push will take your integer because we have uh, elements as uh, integers. And I'm going to name this as integer x. And the responsibility of uh, this method is to add an element to your stack at the top. So uh, first thing first, we are going to check if stack is full. And if stack is full, then we are not going to add any element else we are going to add the element. So before uh, writing the uh, logic for push, I am going to write the logic for full. So how to check if uh, the stack is full? So to check stack is full, we have to write uh, a method known as is full. So this is going to uh, return me Boolean. So it is going to return me uh, true if the stack is full and it is going to return me false if the stack is not full. Okay, so I'm going to add the method is full and for checking full we are going to check if our top top is uh, the location of your top element is equal to equal to capacity minus one so if your top has reached uh, the location capacity minus one that means your uh, stack is full now let's come back to your uh, push so we are going to check if the stack is full if the stack is full, we are just going to uh, print the message that stack overflow. 
so the, you can't uh, push more elements into the stack because your stack is full and it is overflown after that uh, if the stack is not full that means if your code comes at line number 17 or 16 at, at that stage we are mm, going to sys out okay that we are inserting and then your element which is x so we will try to insert x into the stack now how to insert this element x into the stack for inserting uh, this element into the stack we have to use array because array is our underlying data structure and we have to make use of top top is uh, the position of your top elements top element so we are going to do plus plus top equal to x so this is the point where your actual insert operation happens at line number 18 okay so your push is complete uh, your is full is complete now we'll move to the next operation which is pop pop is the operation where you remove the actual element from your stack okay so let's try to add that logic so i'm going to uh, write logic for pop pop is for removing element from the stack so public end uh, pop all right pop does not accept any parameter because you just have to remove the element uh, from your stack and you does not accept any input uh, from outside so to pop the element you have to check if there are any elements present in your stack so you have to check a uh, condition if your stack is empty in that case you won't be doing any operation so sys out stack is empty or stack underflow all right so to write the uh, logic for is empty we have to write one more method let's try to write uh, that method so it is going to be a public method and it is again going to return a boolean and this time the name is going to be is empty all right so checking if the stack is empty we have to check if our top is equal to equal to minus one so if top is equal equal to minus one that means that are there are no elements in your uh, stack and your stack is empty so let's come back to your pop so to write the logic for pop, we covered our first condition. We checked if stack is empty, then we printed the message. Otherwise, your stack is not empty. In that case, we'll try to pop the element. So to pop the element, we are just going to uh, sys out, removing element. And uh, we are going to remove the element from our top. So your top uh, is the location. Okay, so we are going to remove this element, but to actually remove this element, we are going to return ARR of top minus minus. So what this means, we are going to return the uh, element at ARR of top, and then after returning the element, we are going to uh, reduce the value of top. So we are doing top minus minus. So these are the two operation, uh, push and pop, which are implemented uh, in the stack. So let's go and check if uh, these operations are uh, correctly implemented and then we'll uh, come and see how to implement peak, okay? So let's try to check if these two operations are correctly implemented. So I'm going to create a stack uh, and I'm going to name this as stack equal to new stack and our stack takes uh, initial capacity so let's try to make this as three initial capacity. So we cannot add more elements. Uh, we cannot add uh, elements more than three. Okay. So let's try to uh, stack dot push. This will push uh, the element into the stack. We are going to push one. Then again, we are going to uh, push another element, which is for example, two. And then we are going to pop. Let's try to pop one element. And then we are again going to pop uh, some element. So we pushed two elements, we popped two elements. All right, so let's try to run this program. Okay. Let me save this. Uh, inserting one. So we pushed one, inserting two, we pushed two, removing two. So the thing you pushed last, it's removed first. So removing element two, then removing element one. So we pushed two elements and we removed two elements. Now, uh, let's try to 
uh, let's try to implement the functionality known as peak. So peak is a functionality where you just uh, return the element at the top position without removing it from your stack. So let's see how to implement that. We are going to have a public. It is going to return integer because uh, our stack holds integer and then peak, all right? So for uh, removing the element at top, uh, so your stack must not be empty. If your stack is empty, that, then you cannot return any element from the stack. So for, for doing this, uh, I'm going to check if uh, your stack is not empty. If your stack is not empty, in that case, I'm going to uh, return the element at the top. So return ARR of uh, POP top. So peak just returns uh, the element at the top without actually removing that element from, from the stack. So else, else I'm going to just sys out as far as out that your stack is uh, stack is empty. All right. And uh, just for the sake of returning something, uh, returning minus one is equivalent to um, uh, showing that your stack is empty and there are no elements present into your stack. So let's try to check if peak is correctly uh, implemented. Okay. Uh, so let's try to push stack dot push three. All right. And uh, sys out uh, peak element at top is equal to stack dot peak. All right. So now what will happen? One will be pushed, then two will be pushed, then two will be removed, then two will be, uh, one will be removed, then three will be pushed. So three will be at the top of your stack. So let's try to run this code. You can see one is pushed, then two is pushed, then two is removed, then one is removed. We are popping elements. Then we are pushing three. So element at the top will be three. So let's try to uh, let's try to do some final checks and then uh, we'll end this program. So finally, I'm going to show you two more methods. Uh, sysout um, stack dot is empty. At this point, your stack is not empty because there is three uh, present in your uh, stack. So let me show you is stack empty. All right. So let me uh, print this, run as, so your stack is not empty because three is present in your stack. And let me uh, finally show you when your uh, stack is full, okay? So I'm going to add stack dot uh, push four, uh, stack dot push uh, five, okay? So let's now check, we already know that stack is not empty we are going to write one more condition where we are going to check if the stack is full. So is stack full? And we are going to call the full method. Okay, so let's try to run this program. Hmm. So uh, we, we pushed the elements, we popped the element, we again pushed three, and then we peek uh, to see what is the element at top. Then we pushed four and five and then checked if the stack is empty, stack is not empty because three, four and five are present. And then we finally saw if the stack is full and we know that stack is full because uh, the capacity of the stack is three. So that's all about uh, stack and operations. Uh, can you show me one more thing like uh, how the stack uh, goes overflow and how it goes underflow? All right, all right, perfect. So uh, let's try to do that. Uh, at this point, line number 65, the um, stack has three elements and the capacity is three. So if I do stack dot push of six, at that case, in that case, your stack should be full and it should it should uh, print error message or message that stack is full. You can see error index out of bound stack overflow. All right, so I have to this push operation won't happen, okay? Similarly, if I try to pop the element, let me pop the element. Okay, so I'll do stack 
dot pop this will remove uh, five then i do stack dot pop this will remove four and stack dot pop this will remove uh, three after this when i do stack dot pop uh, this will give me your underflow so let's try to run that stack underflow okay so these are the two conditions we can we can uh, uh, we are doing plus plus and minus minus that is the reason it is uh, throwing this error uh, we can uh, comment the actual code which is ca causing this problem so line number 27 main driver okay so we can handle this accordingly uh, we don't uh, actually print in the production environment so we can comment this out yeah so that's about the operations yeah perfect your voice is not audible yeah, it's only yeah, it's that's because uh, you guys are watching this video. If you have any questions which are uh, asked in your interview, please let us know in the comment box so that we will create videos for that and uh, we'll share the knowledge with the other video. That's it. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, thanks everyone. Thank you. Bye bye.